All right, so I'm doing an unboxing video here. But before I do, why don't I explain what I'm doing? I just wanted to pull my own address off. You guys didn't want to come over and visit anyway, did you? Uh, I'm making an AR. So I got an old A1 style uh, with a teardrop uh, forward assist, no deflector. Uh, I got this, uh, it's actually a Norinco. Uh, it's got the old sights on it and everything like that. Uh, what I'd like to make is sort of a sort of a car 15 copy well it's actually a copy of a Colt 609 Commando um, anyway I got this ten and a half inch barrel uh, it's a NEA barrel company is renamed something else now but I was going to throw on the front sight but that's milled for a 0.75 gas tube and this is a 625 it's going to just have it brought down all down to a nice consistent 0.625 with a friend of mine who has a lathe but um, then I realized that uh, I kind of forgot about pinning the barrel. So I just don't want to have to get into that. So I ordered this package right here. Anyway, one of the things to consider if you're trying to build a car is how are you going to take a short barrel and attach a front sight to it? You can, you can do it by putting set screws in here. Uh, there's even some uh, set screw A1 sights or A2 sights available. Um, online they're usually not available in Canada so that's my conundrum so what did I do well I bought this anyway it's a good excuse to bring the knife out do to do do to do what do we have in here oh newspaper no it's not newspaper it's a barrel This is a Lewis machine and tool barrel. It is a 10 and a half inch barrel. It's threaded. It comes with the uh, front sight uh, and gas block already on it. I'll have to move my own um, front sight onto that, but I can cannibalize this here. And I have a package coming in from Brownells that actually has a tapered front sight which is kind of more appropriate for what I'm building so we're going to throw this onto here got a lower coming I got my SIG um, uh, bolt carrier here I have to put a, uh, a, a key on and a bunch of extra parts I think I have everything but a charging handle and a bird cage and I'm using a bird cage and not the original compensator because well I can't get one I tried ordering a uh, a copy of the original one uh, and unfortunately uh, Brownells can't ship that to me because it's controlled by ITAR and I'm not an importer and I'm not spending the $250 to buy a $50 part. Uh, I got my eye out looking for other ones. Uh, I got uh, more uh, stuff coming in Brownells and that'll be in the part two video anyway. But anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. So why don't we just mock that up? see what it looks like Let's see if it fits first all right. All right. there's a little fitting that's going to have to take place on here um, with your Norinkos the slot in here for the um, for the indexing part it's just not quite big enough so I am going to have to actually hand fit this here to here so uh, I'm not going to do that on screen because it is going to be tricky to do it well. But I'm sure we can at least give you a look. All right. That's going to be so cool to shoot at the range and so freaking loud. Anyway, uh, more, more stuff coming from Brownells um, that should make this a fairly... Uh, decent copy of a uh, Colt uh, 609 thanks for watching and uh, I'll be in touch there'll be several more videos once I actually start putting this together